Hello, my little Swiftlings, and welcome back to Royalty Soaps. Today, we launched the Party Era Collection, a collection inspired by the Taylor Swift Eras Tour and other birthday, like, pastel, fun, kind of Y2K-looking stuff. Which soaps are in the collection? I'll tell you. For frosted soaps, we have Birthday Cake, Midnight's, teardrops. We have this purple soap that at the time of filming, I don't know what the fans have picked, but at the time of editing, we will know what the fans have picked to name it. And then of course, we have today's soap. Now this is the full encapsulation of all the different everythings because it is called In My Era and it is essentially like all the Taylor Swift eras combined. Now the coloring is very much inspired by the Lover album. If you see like the cotton candy pink clouds. I didn't have a lot from that album so I decided to go ahead and pull everything into this one soap and then it is stamped and it's so cute. I'll explain it a little more as we go along but you can get all of these right now. If the video is live that means all of this is available on the website. Also this is very limited. We have a bundle. We have a special sticker. I purchased some Taylor Swift Eras bracelets. It's all available to purchase now at royaltysoaps.com. So see you there and also so let's make this soap. Before we get started, I'm going to talk about our fragrance blend today. I used 50% Agave Bloom. This is part of the Desert Romance collection from Brambleberry. It's a brand new collection they just released. And then 50% Energy, which is my favorite fragrance oil from Brambleberry and 50-50 of each one. This is a, I mean, I can't even tell you how good the scent is. I cannot believe that this collection is already over. I feel like there's so many more soaps that I could have made, but I I hope you guys enjoy the ones that I picked and that they resonated with you. I'm gonna go ahead and blend some titanium dioxide into the lye water solution because this is a very pastel soap. Uh, gonna go ahead and pour this in slowly so that nothing splashes and blend it on up. Okay, beautiful, gorgeous. We're looking very, very, very bright. Gonna go ahead and pour off our colors here. Wow, that hasn't happened in a very long time. <laughs> Okay, so we have our gorgeous, gorgeous accents. Let's go ahead and put our colors in. So the base is pink, obviously. My gorgeous Cosmic Carolyn. Then we have a little bit of yellow to add into our teeny tiny accent over here. I like a yellow, but I didn't want there to be too much in this soap. Then we have some purple. This is purple vibrance. The yellow was true yellow. And then we have this custom blue blend that I made my Myself with a couple different blues. Not sure if I'm gonna like it. We're gonna have to see. I think I will though. And then I'm also going to go ahead and add our fragrance oil because this particular fragrance bin slows things down. So it's better to go ahead and just mix it in with your color. I am chomping at the bit to get this blended up because it looks so pretty. All right, we'll blend up our lightest color first. Oh my gosh, prayers that this is a paranormal color morph because that is so ugly. <laughs> that looks like a hot dog. <laughs> oh no, you guys. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. <gasps> The paranormal color morphing. Okay, listen, listen. I'm praying that this will turn back to normal, but I do not have high hopes. I mean, look at this purple. This is completely different from what it was supposed to be. So, Energy has never given me a problem, so I'm gonna think that this is the agave bloom, that it just turns more yellow in soap, maybe? <sighs> Okay, this makes me not want to waste any of my precious resources on this because I don't know if it's going to turn back. 
I mean, that purple is atrocious. It's so bad. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the soap like I had planned on making it before, but I'm not gonna put the rocks on the top because I mean, it's just, it's too big a risk. I cannot risk that with how ugly these colors are. I'll still add the glitter and stuff because I have a lot of those, but rocks are a precious commodity around here. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, no. this might be the ugliest color combination I've had this year. It's truly revolting. <laughs> it's so <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Gonna scrapey, scrapey my big container. Oh no. Okay, I will say this. For some reason, even already, the pink color is looking slightly better than it did. Now it looks more like peachy. Before it just looked yellow and it was absolutely awful. But even after it just sitting for like five or 10 minutes, it is getting better. But I'm still absolutely not going to risk it because that it's just too big a risk. I am going to start by adding <laughs> <laughs> some of these accent colors that I did not scrape out completely onto the top. See if we can cover up some of that just truly, truly awful. I hope that this doesn't end up being a total batch flop, but here's the good thing. Here's the good thing about if it does. I will simply send this entire batch to Eco Soap Bank. Eco Soap Bank is a 501c3 that employs women and gives soap to children who need soap, okay? They are saving lives by keeping people's hygiene up and I never have to feel bad about that. So every time I have a flopped batch, I try to keep that in mind. There's always a bright side and this soap can be recycled to help other people. So we're not going to feel bad about it. It is just disappointing. <laughs> My gosh, this might be among the ugliest, not because I haven't had, you know, soaps that turned really weird colors. It's because of how bad the colors are with one another. Like, is this teal color bad on its own? No, but next to this pink and this purple, it's pretty bad. I mean, the yellow isn't helping much either. It's like giving a desaturated version of like 90s Taco Bell. <laughs> Now, if this turns great in the next couple hours, that will be awesome. In fact, I'm probably not even going to texture the top because if it turns pretty, this is a really cool top and we'll just add some sparkles on it and be done with it. This is not the finale to the Eras collection. I can tell you that much. Here is my custom glitter blend that I mixed up myself. This is probably going to uh, solve a lot of sins. <laughs> It's gonna make me feel better about the whole thing because I won't be able to see everything as well. Okay, so the glitter blend is actually really pretty. <laughs> Let's let this sit for 24 hours, okay? I'll give it a fair shot. We're not gonna judge it before it's cured, but my hopes are down. They are just down in the ground, really. They've been buried. I've buried my hopes. <laughs> we'll see if they get resurrected tomorrow, 18 to 24 hours. So 
this is what the soap is supposed to look like. Look at these colors. They make a lot more sense together, don't they? Peach Bellini from Crafter's Choice really saved the day. And honestly, it's a really good smell. Like it's a perfect match for this. So I'm just gonna pour all my purple into one side and then I'm not gonna scrape this out. I'm gonna leave it just like so. And then I'm gonna pour the blue into the other side and I'm actually going to save the yellow and I'm only gonna add it to like the top half of the soap. That was something that I noticed whenever I cut the failed batch was that the yellow got too incorporated and I didn't like that. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and pour this in. I'm gonna pour up and down, up and down. If these colors blend, not that big a deal. So I've got the bulk majority of them out. You can see all this pink sitting in the back, right? So now I'm gonna add the yellow to the very, very, very back. Okay, got that right in. And now I'm going to pour the rest of the soap. So there will be yellow throughout the soap. It's just going to be in a different part and it's not gonna be nearly as swirly. This entire soap is very much inspired by the Lover album cover. So there's like these cotton candy, pinky skies. Now that's more like it. This is what I had in mind. <laughs> So I am just going to drip on these little accents that I have next to me here in the buckets. And I really like the paint splatter look. I did that on the other batch and it looked so cool. That being said though, I do have a stone that's supposed to go on the top of this. So I may end up texturing it some more. It'll just kind of depend on what I think after I get all this onto the top. Okay, I'm gonna try a couple of things for the top here because on the one hand, I feel like having, oh, Oh yeah, see this looks so good to have a little bit of texture in there. It really just adds to that like cotton candy cloud moment, but it doesn't mix anything up too much. Yeah, look how pretty, ooh. And it's thick enough now that it really isn't like messing anything up. I'm gonna pull close onto the other side too. Kind of like it on an angle. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull it on an angle on all these sides. It just gets the right amount of swirl if you do it that way. Gorgeous. Wow. Yes. <laughs> okay, that looks so cool. I'm actually gonna squish this side a little more like the other one <laughs> so that it isn't the odd one out. Gorge. Now let's get our glitter. Here's our glitter blend. I kept it very light and shiny. Even mixed some micas in there to make it even more shimmery. And I am just gonna put this all over the top and I am going to use all of it. Okay, so the mica that I've added to this has a little bit of like a blue sheen. It's called Blue Moon. It's by Mad Micas. And whenever you add that in there, it just, it has this bluey sort of color if you get it in the right light. So definitely a fan of that. That was a really good addition. And it dispersed really well among the glitters. It doesn't look awesome all by itself because it's too kind of cakey. But if you use the glitters to kind of break it up a little, it disperses really nice. And now for the gemstones, I'm putting my grid on and lining that up so it's exactly where it needs to be. And we are adding opalite to this soap. Opalite is really big, like it's really big. So I am going to have to be very careful whenever I put these on. Okay guys, I've pretty much discovered that this is going to take absolutely forever. So I'm just gonna stop filming and I'll bring you back and show you the top when it's done. Look at these colors. I am so glad that I changed the fragrance. <laughs> Instead of trying to make this work and being like, no, no, it's fine. We're gonna use it, but no, no, no because these colors, they look so good. Let's see how good a job I did with the placement here. Looks pretty good. All right. 
And here you go. This is the inside of In My Era. Isn't that pretty? Now you can see this little yellow box right here. That will go away as this continues to be exposed to the air and it will turn pink. That's just what Cosmic Carolyn does. I could not be more happy. This is literally just so pretty. And this, this is my favorite soap, not only because it, it actually smells amazing. Okay, like the smell fits it super, super well, but because of the stamp that goes on top of this. Okay, we have a couple of options. I'm tempted to go with the purple because I know that it's gonna be able to be seen really well, but we're gonna test some darker pink too. Okay, so here's the stamp. I'm gonna stamp it all with the pink first and tap off the excess because these are teeny tiny little letters. I'm gonna center it right here, press down, lift up. Oh my gosh! Okay, so as you can see, it says in my era, and there's a blank space right here. This is so that when you get the bar, you can take a picture of it, like holding it in your hand or holding it up next to you. You take a picture of it, and then you get to fill in the blank. Whatever era you're in, this would be particularly fun to do on Instagram because they already have like a text availability. You can just type in your text, you just put it on the line, and then you get to share with people what era you're in this summertime. I feel like this is like <laughs> the girliest thing I've ever done. Okay, so that was the pink. Let's see how we like the purple. Ooh, okay. All right, what are we thinking? Pink or purple? I'm kind of digging the pink. Normally I would go for the darker color, but I don't think you need it for this. And also remember, I'm stamping very fresh soap. So you can see how deep that indentation is. Um, on the bars that we do later on, the impression won't be that deep. So it'll be easier to read. I'm gonna pick one out with a lot of swirls to see how the pink shows up, even if there's like a lot of color on the bar. Oh, I love it. Pink it is. Cosmic Carolyn for the win yet again. <gasps> Can you even? It's so cute. I cannot wait to see you guys start filling in these bars, showing me the eras that you are in. You'll have to tag me on Instagram or TikTok or whatever you're sharing it on. Maybe you're sharing it on Instagram's new little version of <laughs> essentially Twitter. I'm on there, just so you know. If you go to my Instagram, you'll be able to see that I'm on there, but yeah. I'm screaming, crying, and throwing up. This is so good. <laughs> what era am I in? Well, I'm in my party era. I'm in my birthday era. I'm in my summer girl era. I'm in my vibing, thriving, healthy girl era. I have so many eras that I'm just enjoying all at the same time. What era are you in? Get the soap, put in your era. Let me know. Tag me on the Instagrams. This has been like seriously, again, one of my absolute favorite collections that I've done in so long. What a blast. I will see you next week for even more fun videos. And then we will announce what the next collection is. But this one was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure you do something fun for yourself and I will see you guys next time. So until then, bye for now. Nee